Um, hello everyone, this is Ahmed Dan of AhmedDan.com. Today I'll have another episode of Easy Cooking video and I'll talk about how to make world's best black coffee at home. So a few months ago, I made a coffee video about uh, how to make world's best Tim Hortons coffee, which is right here. And uh, this video seems to be doing very well uh, and then uh, which, uh, you know, made me decided to make another video about how to make world's uh, best black coffee at home. So you'll find the link uh, to this video in the description box below. So I'm just going to uh, set this aside. So if you think uh, making black coffee is just as simple as taking coffee and put it in the filter and put it, uh, you know, add water and start the uh, coffee maker, uh, that's not the case. So you can still get a black coffee. Uh, if you do that uh, but you know today I'm going to show you some techniques which will give you the perfect uh, cup of uh, black coffee or the world's best black coffee so I'm going to show you some sample coffee uh, ground coffee which I have it right here and uh, this is not a sponsored or affiliated video or anything so I'm just using you know this coffee brand because this is what I have right now and uh, also they have the information which I need to show you what actually I mean. So if you take a look at this coffee, uh, this is a uh, dark coffee and you're going to see that, you know, it has a uh, body nine and acidity four. So what it means that this coffee is going to give you a bold coffee, which is going to be dark and very strong coffee. So this is not actually good for uh, to make a cup of black coffee because it's going to be a bit bitter and not tasty. So you want to go for a coffee with slightly lesser body uh, than like, you know, dark roast coffee. So for example, if you're looking at this coffee right here and you can see that it has a body of seven which is right here and this is also organic coffee so this coffee is a regular uh, roast coffee not a dark roast coffee and it has a regular body or like you know kind of not strong body which is seven uh, and this is going to give you a much better uh, black coffee than this one and uh, because of you know the strength of the coffee it's not roasted a lot like this one so you can use any brand of coffee but you know i'm just uh, using these two uh, because that's what I have here today so what you need to do uh, the first thing you're going to be doing is that you need to have a coffee maker if you do not have a coffee maker you can still use other methods but you know I recommend having a coffee maker and they're not actually expensive you can buy them for about you know 20 30 dollars on Amazon they're really cheap uh, for example this is a very uh, inexpensive coffee maker and it just works fine uh, I have no problem so far so the first thing i'm going to be doing is taking a very cold water so whenever you're making coffee or tea uh, try to get cold water uh, that will, you know will retain the uh, water taste and it will you know make the coffee taste better so let's just get uh, a very cold cup of water and i'm going to just let the water run for a few seconds to make it colder and then once i have a cold water then I'm just going to, you know, uh, I took this much of water and I'm going to just pour into the coffee maker. So I'm going to put my cup here, plug the coffee maker. Now, in terms of how much coffee you're going to be using, so I have tried different uh, measurements and what I found out that uh, slightly less than one tablespoon would give you the best uh, tasting coffee. Um, so you can use even more or less uh, depending on what type of strength you're looking for but if you want a smooth you know black of cough uh, black cup of coffee then my recommendation would be just use you know slightly lesser uh, tablespoon or 15 milliliter or less so I have it right here and I don't put um, sugar in my black coffee but if you want sugar you can just like you know add a couple of uh, sugar cubes uh, four grams each but uh, in general i don't uh, i just you know drink black coffee as it is no sugar no nothing so what we are going to do uh, we are going to open this up and you can see that i have a uh, ground coffee uh, right here and i'm going to get this much coffee so for example let me just show you the so this is 
slightly lesser than one tablespoon it could be like you know 13 to 14 milliliter so this is what I'm going to put it into the, into the coffee maker and you can do less or more based on your taste and preferences but uh, the best way to you know go with this that you know just try uh, different you know uh, a measurement or, or different amount of coffee to make your black coffee and then you're going to know that that you know which is most uh, suitable for you so i'm going to cover uh, the lid and we're going to start the coffee maker okay so i just turned on the switch and it should take about a few minutes so we're going to wait until the coffee is done and then you know i'll just uh, show you how it came out So the coffee has been made and you can see that uh, light is off uh, we can unplug the coffee maker which i'll do it right here and then i'm just going to remove the cup from the coffee maker and let's put this here and here you can see that we have a perfect cup of black coffee so i'm going to just taste a little bit uh, just to see how it came out So it has the perfect coffee flavor which we all love and it has the smooth taste and it's not bitter and it's not you know too strong it's not too light so this is just a, a perfect cup of black coffee which you can enjoy without even uh, sugar or anything else and again the secret is in the measurement so always go with uh, slightly lesser than one tablespoon and try to use organic you know uh, medium strength uh, coffee not too dark or not too light so the perfect coffee would be uh, for example which has a body of seven and acidity level would be around you know uh, five six or in that range and that would give you the perfect cup of uh, black coffee which you can enjoy without the help of creamer or sugar so thank you for watching this video on this channel i'm always trying new and different ideas if that is something you're interested in please visit for more. If you're only interested in coffee or tea video, there'll be links in the description box below. There'll be more videos coming up, so I'll see you shortly. Thank you.